Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. High stakes, a history of crowning national champions. This is one of the great bowl games in college football. The Fiesta Bowl is just around the corner. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. off yet and these fans are already going crazy for the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl here in Glendale Arizona before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero real Coke taste zero calories enjoy everything lined up for the kickoff and we're ready to get this one underway he kicks it off and he got all of that one so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 34-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Guns it right side. And he makes a catch. Touchdown. Hit. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he tacks on the extra point. Kentrell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's tackled at the 11. He should have stayed in the end zone there. It looked like there was a little running room, but the lane closed up quickly. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires to the wideout. First down. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. They can't connect. 
incomplete. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your ahead. offensive progress. First and long now after the penalty. Makes his way to about the 22. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Nice run up the middle. Mayo gains seven yards on that play. From their own 29-yard line. It's third down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Up. 280. He's under pressure. Looking for his man. Incomplete. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Davis will be the return man. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 38-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space. And I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 38. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Short pass, middle of the field. Brought down at about the 13. From the 13-yard line, first down. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled around the four-yard line. practice that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He makes his way to about the 42. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and ten, ball on the 42-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Mike 
And down he goes at the 44-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 44-yard line, first down. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Grabs it and hammers right there. down now. They need to get it down to the 34. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Panthers are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. Yeah, it's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and taking advantage of it. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He fights forward to about the 29. Workman is the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. Taken down at the 30-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. They only needed a yard, and the tailback was able to get it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And here's a quick throw. Grabs it, and he might go the distance. To the 10. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. He's on the receiving end for another score. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 81-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Cantrell is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. And that's it for the first quarter, and it's been all one-sided. Pittsburgh's got a three-touchdown advantage. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. 
You know, Brad, we had a chance to talk with this young man earlier in the week. And one of the things he thought he'd have a chance to do is make some plays by being able to blitz and get after the quarterback. That time, he timed it up just right and was able to come up with a sack. We've got third and 12. Ball in the 23. Wants to go long and does. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Davis is back to receive. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Oh, man, he took him down hard. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He chucks it downfield. Intercepted. And that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. pass and he's immediately tackled he's on the run and he's sacked they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Nice gain as he works the right side. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 47-yard line. He makes his way to about the 38. They come out in a five wide set. Watched out and he's gonna get sacked. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. The defense brought pressure. At that time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 30. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the 26-yard line, first down. Go, go, go. 
A little toss across the middle. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The 10. The ball is loose. And now it's recovered by the receiver. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 62-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 27. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice play across the middle. And he's level at the 41. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Ladder's back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Time. He's tackled the 37 yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. Loose football. Picked up by the defense. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Texas! The Longhorns are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. You know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you've got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Pittsburgh is up a score. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 41. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 40. From 
the 40 yard line. It's first down. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he hits him hard at the 37. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From the 35-yard line, third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Finds his receiver, touchdown. We've got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kick and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 20 yard line so we're just about ready to return to action they come out in an empty backfield to his receiver and down he goes around the 27 yard line second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down we're halfway through and it's been a good one 28 14 pittsburgh We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership. Who's going to lead and make a play? Somebody has to step up right now, David. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise at them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it third and seven.
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 29. Green picks him up two yards with that catch. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Take him down immediately. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fires out to his wideout. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And they push him out around the 18-yard line. yard line first down throws complete he's got room to work tackle at the 10 you can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers even when he's a little bit off target they can pull it in and make something happen He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Short yardage defense here. He scrambled. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Workman comes away with two yards on the scramble. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. And Trout looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Workman, poised right now, Kirk, here in the third quarter. He's such a solid player. I mean, he's everything we expected and then some of it. The one word that comes to mind with this young man is just consistency. I mean, he, he seems to be able to go out here in almost every single series. He gives his offense a chance to be able to have a drive, sustain that drive, and eventually put points up on the board. And he has been tough today for this defense to be able to try to contain. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at the 47. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. 
in the shotgun and five wide outs. Makes it to the 37. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. to about the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 34. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives, and he's down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball of the 22. They'll drop him for a loss. the eighth play of this drive. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled at about the 21. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Texas is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Panthers had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Brought down at the 32. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. One more quarter to play. The Panthers with an 18-point cushion. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's at midfield, makes it to the 47. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Screen pass. He's got his half back. They'll knock him down for a loss. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Scrambling around. 
They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. the 45. Mayo back deep to return. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Pittsburgh's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. Tries to thread the needle. It's picked off. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. No one open, so he's going to run. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. the pitch looking for the corner and they'll get him in the backfield loss of two on the run by the halfback Receiver touchdown. And with that touchdown reception, he's now got 10 this year. I can see now why this quarterback calls him his favorite target. Whenever this guy's near the end zone, he gets in the ball. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Pittsburgh is lining up to kick this one off. Morris fields it at the three. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Pittsburgh's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. Throws 
comes out and a leaping interception by the corner. He's at the 30, got an opening for the 20, the 10. Touchdown, big play. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Kentrell has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Passes into tight coverage, and it's going the other way. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. Boy, another interception. You know, you look at this offense and they're making mistakes, but how about the effort and the tenacity from this defense? Even with the big lead, they're not giving up. I think they want to continue to blow this team out. From the 24-yard line, first down, Pittsburgh up by a big margin. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 12-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the eight. shy of the sticks. So dangerous, he just showed us what. Are you kidding me? Are you talking about a huge touchdown? Quarterback takes off to run the football with a game on the line late like this, and he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. That's one of the more exciting plays that we've seen all year in college football. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. the 30. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Just over a minute left. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and seven.
Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 49. to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they make the stop at the 39. to get it to the 27. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. This one's in the books, and our final score, Pittsburgh, 56, Texas, 17. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? It takes a really impressive performance to win by this wide a margin against a team that, at least on paper, is so evenly matched. They earned a lot of respect here. Pittsburgh took what had the makings of a close game and dropped it on its head. Credit that to the coaches and their game plan. They really put some distance between themselves and a team that didn't look too different coming in. And for a workman, his efforts today have earned him player of the game. For the Panthers, their record will climb to 13-2 and in what has been an outstanding season. And for the Longhorns, they'll close out what's been a good season with a disappointing loss.